Hello, everyone. Today is Thursday, August 30th. It's 3.20 p.m. It's about 40 minutes before the regular session close. You can see the date and time on my computer clock. This video is recorded in real time. It actually is 3.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On my left is the E-mini S&P time and sales currently trading at 28.98. Really fantastic day for the auto trader. Before I begin, first I want to share with you a tip for the day. So sometimes if you're using our Hike and Ashy bars, you may see a long bar like this on the chart uh, when you restart your computer usually. And if this ever happens, what you should do is reload your historical data. And I made a short video to show, so I'm going to show this here. So basically, uh, right-click the chart and select Reload Historical Data. The high to low of this bar was like five points. And you'll see that when I reload the data here, it's going to turn that long bar into several bars, which is more uh, like it occurred. So I'm going to play that again and fast forward to the end. So, so this is beneficial. You get more accurate data when your data begins. And, and this is true on, on any chart. Okay, first up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick with the $3,500 goal, and this hit its goal. And here we have that familiar pattern with a couple of small losers in between as the market didn't exactly make like a V bottom or a V shape. It was a down, up, uh, test, and then up. And so uh, there was a couple of whipsaws here, but these losing trades only... Well, it's the DAX, so this was, even this uh, seemingly small movement was a drawdown of 300 per contract, and then this move here was a little bit less. This drew down only about 250 per contract. Anyway, this came back with the, in spite of these losers, which were two losing trades of uh, 600 and 500 respectively, the auto trader came back with these two large winners here and and hit its goal. So that in itself is pretty impressive. Notice the indicator signals on the Superenco bars, really tight, really nice, uh, avoiding the noise here. So all in all, really solid performance on this chart. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 16 tick. And even though it's just a little bit larger, you can see the difference in the trades here, how this rolled out. There were still two losers here, relatively small, and the two large winners here, different than the 14 tick. This hit its goal at 3,500. So this just smooths out the chart a little more. The, sledding, the settings are slightly different than the 14 tick, but a pretty solid performance here as well. Okay, the NASDAQ on a 1597 Hike and Ashy chart. This uh, did 22.10 for the day. Our goal on this is 22.50, so it hit its goal for sure and had slippage with market order. Uh, we had a minor drawdown of about 150 per contract, and then it came back with a number of solid winning trades, uh, relatively small losers. Stop loss on this is... 40 ticks, but I don't think that's being hit. I think this is uh, reversing here because uh, we're changing to red bars. Now, somebody asked about uh, profit percent, and so I want to explain that. Uh, here we have a trail stop uh, by profit percent, and if we click on this we and we go to the dialog box, the, the percent profit exit exits the trade if a percentage of the profit of the max profit achieved is lost. So what that means is if I have a percent trailing stop, my trigger here, this is saying that I'm activating the trail stop at 75 ticks and I'm trailing by 25% of the profit. Okay, so 25% of 75 is roughly... Uh, 18 ticks. Uh, or to say it another way, let's just say it was a thousand dollars. Uh, 25% would be $250. So that means 
if at 75 ticks we had $1,000 profit, if we uh, market, re you know, started trading the other direction and from our 750 we were down to 500 profit, a 250 uh, decrease in our max profit, then it would take us out of the trade. That's 25% of the profit. If the max profit was uh, 1250, then uh, a decrease of uh, about $300 would take us out of the trade because the, the trailing stop is always based on the max profit achieved. So on a move like this, if this had gone, say, all the way here and then retraced, it would, even though the trail stop might have kicked in, it would be based on the max trof profit. So if there was a spike in the market, you would get the benefit of the highest tick achieved in that uh, spike. So for that reason, a trail stop can be very useful because you could be in a trade and then the market has uh, even a small surge or a surge and your the percentage profit stop is always going to be the highest profit achieved. And then if it retraces by 25%, then that would take you out of the trade. And what's really cool about this is that we have a trail stop reset. So as the trade progresses, I can tighten up the amount of retracement here. And that's exactly what I've done. As, as I made 100 ticks, then, then I'm only risking 15%. But 15% of 100 is close to 25% here. I'm still giving it room to move. And then at 135 ticks, I'm only risking 10% of the profit and so forth. So the percentage profit trail stop is really useful. And the trail stop reset is a very clever way to tighten up your stops as the trade progresses. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick with the $2,000 goal. And this has tighter money management and that's why these trades look different than the other chart. So this is for when the swings aren't so big. This actually manages a little better than the other chart. So you can see here it had a, a couple more, actually it had the same trades but this last leg went a little bit longer. So this hit its goal and had a couple of ticks of positive slippage. Okay next up is the DAX on 150 Heiken Ashi chart. The DAX was really killing it today. The uh, 150 Heiken Ashi chart was moderately active. It had a minor drawdown for the DAX, only about 250 per contract here, and then came back with a number of winners in a row, very consistent, and came up to hit its goal of 2550, and then had some slippage with our market order. Okay, the DAX on a 377 Heiken Ashi chart uh, hit its goal of 1500 in a single trade here with a lot more to go. 1550 was the goal. And so it obviously hit our goal on probably on this bar and then a market order uh, gave up a couple of ticks. But again here I just want to point out the indicator signals here uh, really solid um, staying with the directional moves. Okay, solid day on the mid cap on 150 Heiken Ashi chart. This had a single trade. You can see our split fill here. And this hit its goal, I believe, of 1500 and had a couple of ticks of slippage, but really solid move here on the mid cap. Okay, the crude oil being super consistent on the Superenco 8 tick. This had two winners and two losers, uh, relatively small losers here, and did 780 for the day, a little bit shy of our goal of 1,000, trading two contracts. Also using our line break logic, notice that potential whipsaws were avoided here because of the line break logic. Okay, this is a new chart, first time uh, NASDAQ Precision Renko 16 tick, uh, 150 reversal size. Uh, using our line break logic, I'm basically using the template for the uh, crude Precision Renko 8150, same template, and uh, I don't think I did much different here. Gave it a goal of a thousand. So 
uh, and and this worked pretty good. You can see here uh, the line break logic really worked well on this chart. Uh, no losing trades, as you can see in our equity graph. So this is pretty impressive uh, first time out of the gate. We'll see if this can show some consistency as we go forward. Okay, the NASDAQ on a 987 Heike and Ashy chart. This did 945, and I'm guessing we have a goal of 1,000 on this one. So this one hit its goal. And a uh, little bit of drawdown here, minus 300 uh, per contract here, and then came back with these two back-to-back -back winners. Really great short trade, excellent exit right there. And that was probably due to uh, hitting its goal. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 4 tick, trading two contracts, and the goal on this is 725. So this had uh, quite a bit of positive slippage here on this run. And if you look at the timestamp here, uh, this downward move. Uh, took place in uh, just a few seconds here. And so by the time it got out, we had really great positive slippage. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superenco uh, 4 tick did 425 on three trades. Okay, the crude oil on a Superenco tick 6 tick was pretty active today, and it drew down about $300 per contract, uh, kind of sideways action here, a mixture of winners and losers. But then it came back with this really big winning trade here and another back-to-back -back winner and managed to finish positive at 390. That's all for today's videos. Thanks for watching.